Section 40 of Through Fairy Halls of My Book House. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Jill Engel. Through Fairy Halls of My Book House. Edited by Olive Beaupre Miller. The Village Fair by Nicholas Nekrasov. Translated from the Russian by Juliet M. Soskais. Our peasants determined to see the shop windows, the handkerchiefs, ribbons, and stuffs of bright color, and near to the boot shop is fresh cause for laughter. For here an old peasant most eagerly bargains for small boots of goat skin to give to his grandchild. He asks the price five times. Again and again he has turned them all over. He finds they are faultless. "'Well, uncle, pay up now, or else be off quickly,' the seller says sharply. "'But wait!' The old fellow still gazes and fondles the tiny boots softly, and then speaks in this wise. "'My daughter won't scold me. My wife let her grumble. My poor little grandchild. She clung to my neck, and she said, "'Little grandfather, buy me a present.' Her soft little ringlets were tickling my cheek, and she kissed the old granddad. "'You wait!' little barefoot wee spitting top wait then some boots i will buy you some boots made of goat skin and then must old vavil begin to boast grandly to promise a present to old and to young but now his last farthing is swallowed then came forward pavlushka varenko he now rescued vavil and bought him the boots to take home to his grandchild the old man fled blindly but clasping them tightly forgetting to thank him, bewildered with joy. The crowd was as pleased, too, as if had been given to each one a rouble. End of section 40 Recording by Jill Engel